Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running HOMAR application dashboard on Windows. To get started, download the latest release of HOMAR from GitHub. Then download the latest LTS release of Node.js. With both downloads completed, navigate to your downloads directory and launch the Node.js installer. Step through the installer, accepting all the defaults. Make sure to select the option to install tools for native modules. Once the installation completes, a PowerShell window will launch. Press any key to continue, then press any key again. This installation can take 20 to 30 minutes, so be patient. Once it completes, press Enter to close the PowerShell window. Back in your downloads directory, right-click the downloaded HOMAR zip archive and extract it to a folder. Rename the extracted folder HOMAR, then cut the folder and place it in a location you'd like to run it from. I'll be using C program files in this example. Navigate inside the HOMAR folder in its new location. From the Start menu, launch a command prompt as administrator. CD to the location of the HOMAR directory, see Program Files HOMAR in this example. We'll upgrade the version of npm using npm install, then install yarn. Next we'll install the package dependencies for homar using yarn install. We'll make a copy of the example.m file. Then we'll build the homar application using the yarn build command. We'll create the database schema using the yarn db migrate command. Then start the HOMAR application using yarn start. If prompted, select allow to allow network traffic to reach the application. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 3000. Click the start the update process button. Create an admin account by entering a username and password. Then click continue. Click the go to your board link. We now have HOMAR installed, but let's take it a step further and set it up to start when Windows starts. Back in the command prompt, press Ctrl C to kill the running process. Open a text editor and paste the start command from the video description. Save the start command as homar.bat in the homar directory. Click the start menu and search for task scheduler, then launch task scheduler from the list. Select Task Scheduler Library, then right-click in the white space and select Create Basic Task. Enter a name and optionally a description for the task, then click Next. Select when the computer starts, then click Next. Select Start a Program, then click Next. Browse to or type the path to homar.bat, then click Next. Check the box to open the Properties dialog, then click Finish. Click the Change User or Group button, then type System in the box and click OK. Check the Run with Highest Privileges box, then click OK. Right-click on the new scheduled task and select Run to execute it. Navigate back to the web browser and refresh the HOMAR tab. HOMAR should now be running in the background from the scheduled task. 
Welcome to Homar, running on your Windows device.